It was kind of an epic moment. So cool. What about like Celebrity Apprentice? Was that really difficult? Or, you know, like you say, like your mom won wine, like you have, you know, Snooki Shop, we're opening a third location, which we'll talk about in a second. Like, you know, I mean, that to me is proving people wrong. Like you're a true entrepreneur was like, did all your businesses kind of exist and help you in Celebrity Apprentice? Or was that kind of first and did that kind of help you in all of what you do now or the two just totally unrelated? unrelated I hated Celebrity Apprentice oh my god I literally voted I was like I I gotta go like this isn't for me and I knew it the first day because everyone is on there and they're so like everybody wants the floor and like I'm not competing for the floor like I'm just not gonna do that so right away I was like oh no this is not for me so um I tried to enjoy it I loved like you know meeting everybody that was on the season and you know meeting Arnold that was really cool but you know, come like the third, fourth boardroom, I was like, I have to leave. This this isn't for me. Um, And I feel like I'm not like, um, not that I'm not professional, but I'm not like, uh, what's the word? I'm not your typical business owner. Like I go with the flow. I'm not bossy. Like I mess up a lot of the times and it's okay. And I feel like everyone just tries to be perfect with running their brand and doing this and going crazy. And I just go with the flow and it, it works for me. So yeah, that show was not, I hated it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like people fight for the boardroom. They all want, and you're just like, Hey, I'm Snooki from Jersey Shore. Like I'm not used to fighting for anyone's attention. Yeah. It wasn't fun for me. Talk to me about your businesses. You're opening the third Snooki shop shop right now in Seaside Heights. It's about to open. Yeah. So I had my online store, the Snooki shop. Um, I feel like ever since the show started, just cause I like, I love clothes and I love selling, you know, my animal prints that I love to wear. So I had my store online and then um, I decided to just have physical stores. So I opened one in Madison, New Jersey. And then I opened my second last year in Beacon, New York, kind of where I grew up. And so I was like, all right, it's time for a third store. And it's actually a lot of work to like own all these stores because like you have employees, you have stock, you have payroll. Like every single day I wake up and like, it's, I'm so dramatic, but like I get my Starbucks and I sit at my desk and I'm like on my computer, like pretending I'm a businesswoman, which I I'm actually running a business. So I just play house with it. But I was like, it's time for, you know, another store. Let me open in Seaside Heights. It's like a no brainer. I feel like that's our staple where like a lot of people travel now because of the show. And, you know, they tour the house, they go on the boardwalk, they go to all the restaurants we went to. So um, I just looked and there was a space open and I, I snagged it. So I'm hoping to open um, late April and definitely in May. Well, running, yeah, three stores, that does not seem easy to me at all. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, especially with like everything else I'm doing with like filming. I have my podcast. Um, I have all my brands with my wine and my stroller line. I just feel like I like being busy and I don't get stressed, which is like a good thing. So um, I just always want to be doing something when it comes to my brand because I have three kids to feed and it's a lot. <laughs> What's your sign? Like, do you like because you like doing everything at once? I'm a Sagittarius. So I was going to say. I'm very spontaneous with the flow. We don't get stressed. We have fun. And yeah. What about, you know, we're seeing this season on Jersey Shore, you know, we're seeing Angelina go through some, you know, stuff with her husband. And, you know, we still have this flirting between Angelina, who is currently married and Vinny. Like, are they soulmates? No, I feel like they really hate each other, but they just play it up like they like each other. Uh, it's exhausting. I mean, every single day we're all together. They're just bickering and bickering. It's like, all right, just go make out or something. Like you guys are, it's like children. Like every, every time we go away and like we get away from the kids for like two days, I feel like I'm with my kids again because all they're doing is bickering back and forth. They're crazy. So all this sexual tension that I feel through the TV, it's just, it's not really there. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I mean, maybe it is for them, but I just they just hate each other. It makes for great TV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of being a mom and, you know, all of your, you know, we have Romeo, all of your children are around the same age. You know, how much do you want like any of your children to date Jenny's children, Mike's, 
Romeo, like they're all the same age. Like, would you like your children to just grow up and date all your yeah. BFFs? I feel like we're raising them to be cousins just because I feel like we're all brothers and sisters. So as of right now, like, I'm like, oh, sissy, you want to go see cousin, you know, CJ, Milani. So we're saying cousins as of right now. But I mean, obviously, if they grow up and they're adults and they happen to fall in love, I mean, that would be amazing and beautiful. Um, but I feel like we're not trying to do that. We just want all of us to be like a happy family. But I mean, if Lorenzo and Milani fell in love, that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. I think, you know, we could have a whole second generation of Jersey Shore and we could just start over. Uh, yeah. You can say like, listen, this is what mommy did and this is what you shouldn't do. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What about, you know, there's a lot of people that listen to this podcast that are huge Housewives fans. I know your girl, Melissa Gorga, was trying to help you out. She brought this up, you know. Andy Cohn said, it's not going to happen. You said you were upset. Like, where have you heard from Andy? Is there anything, you know, it doesn't seem like you're going to be a housewife. It doesn't seem like you want to be one. You're busy running all these businesses. But like, have you heard from Andy since this all came out? Yeah, so I'm not upset that I'm, he doesn't want me to be a housewife because I'm not cut out for that shit. Like, it's just too drama. And I don't like drama. I just like drinking having fun and then going home so that show is not for me and on jersey shore all day um but i just feel like he's a little nasty towards me and i don't know what i did but um i don't know he's just like so like blunt like you could be you could say no in a nicer way you could say no in a nicer way so what how listen it's like a small it's a small business right so like what happens if like what's the next time you run into Andy Cohen, like, what would you say to him? Like, if you ran into him face to face? Well, I feel like the last time I did his podcast, it was all like smiles. I mean, we're all friendly and happy. So um, I don't know. I just feel like he's being drama for the people. And I feel like if we saw each other, we'd say hi. Like I, uh, like I said, I don't like being mean to people. I don't like grudges. I don't like the drama. I feel like we would be okay. Well, is there any reality show that you haven't done that you would really want to do? Hmm. I mean, Housewives is obviously not it. You've done Dancing with yeah. Stars. You've done. So, I mean, I don't want to be a part of it. Um, I don't know. I'm having a mind fart. Like what? What other reality shows are there? And I can't really, I mean, cause you know, the bachelorette, so that doesn't apply. I mean, 90 day fiance no. doesn't apply. We're like love Island. They're all, they're all for single people. I think no, I can't really. I mean, I do love watching, which I wouldn't be on obviously, but I do love watching too hot to handle. It's just such a good binge. Um, temptation Island insane. I don't know how these people do that. Um, so I love watching things that like I would never do because I just find it so fascinating. Too Hot to Handle is amazing. So, do you have a favorite New Jersey housewife? And do you watch the New Jersey housewives? I do. Uh, my favorite now, even though she's not a full-time housewife, is Tracy. Because, Tracy um, Barber, because she's my neighbor. And she's my really good friend. And our kids cheer together. So when she told me she was going to be you know, like Melissa's friend on the show. I was like, oh my God, you're going to do the housewife. Like when I see her, I don't pitch her a reality show because she's just like, uh, she's not like loud and dramatic like me, but I feel like she definitely brought it. So I'm excited to watch her on Jersey this season. 